Today we will be making cardboard slotted sculptures. All you need is a piece of cardboard, a drawing tool, some coloring materials if you want to color it, and scissors. So first I'm just going to draw out my shapes. For my sculpture today I will only be making squares, but you're welcome to do different types of shapes as well. You don't have to do squares, you can do circles, you can do some organic shapes, you can do a combination of different types of shapes. That's totally up to you. So I'm drawing it like a grid so I can easily cut out the squares and um, all I'm going to do now is take my scissors and carefully cut them out without bending the cardboard too much. And just placing the shapes to the side as I go. Okay, so I have all of my squares cut out. I'm now going to mark where my slots are going to go. And these are the areas that we're going to connect the shapes together. So they're just lines for guidance. And you can put them on the flat sides of each square. You can put them um, on the corners. So I'll show you on this next one here. We can actually draw them from the corners. So if you want to attach them from the corners instead, that's fine as well. You can do a mixture of both. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, so now we're going to color our shapes. If you have paint at home, that would probably work the best for covering everything really well, but you can also use marker. So I'm just going to color this first one with marker, and then I'll show you a couple other materials that you can use, and I will do a combination of all of those for my sculpture. So you also want to make sure you flip over the other side and you color both sides. Alright, so next I'm going to try using colored pencil. And I'm going to add some design, so it's not just a solid color. I'm going to add um, different patterns and then kind of fill in with another color around these patterns. And again, be sure to do the other side. I'll do a different um, design on the back, just to mix it up. Alright, last example, I'm going to just use Sharpie, or you can use a dark marker and just add lines and different types of designs. Alright, so now you're going to take all of your colored shapes and cut out the little slots. So instead of just doing one line, you're going to cut two very close together parallel cuts so that you can cut out a decent chunk. This way the cardboards will fit together better. If you just do a line, then they might bend a little bit, so you want to make sure you give it enough space so that the other piece of cardboard will fit in there easily.
All right, so I cut out all the little slots in my shapes, and now I'm just going to mess around with it, kind of like a puzzle, and start putting them together and decide how I want my sculpture to look. So what's really cool about this technique is there's no glue involved, so if you make a mistake and you think, oh, I don't really like how that looks together, you can just replace it, take it off, and try a different shape or try a different position. So I'm just messing around with this and finding what I think looks best, trying to make sure that it's balanced and stable. So right now I'm just trying to create a decent base so that it doesn't tip over. So I'll try a few different shapes until I get the one that I think works the best. Alright, so that seems like a pretty sturdy base, so now I can start building it up. You can make it as tall as you want, as long as it doesn't tip over, or you can make it go out wider. Totally up to you. It's really fun just to experiment and try different arrangements. Here's my final sculpture. Like I said, there's so many ways I could arrange it, but this is what I'm sticking with for now. Remember that you can do different shapes, different ways that you color it, make it your own. I look forward to seeing your sculptures, and good luck!